problem is customer says the blower motor which the blower motor is the motor that's pushing air through your duct system that is running all the time mechanics for non-mechanics so what do you do so first of all i shut off the breaker okay that's our breaker right over there okay don't touch wires don't mess with that i just pulled the breaker okay sometimes it's a switch sometimes you pull it out this one was a pull out you can see right there pulled that out and there's no power going to the unit but of course keep in mind there's still power going to that breaker itself all right so the first thing that i'm going to try to do is <clears throat> this green wire right here remember with the power shut off don't be messing with this stuff otherwise so this green wire is what supplies power um or tells the uh, uh tells the blower motor to turn on so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to um take this apart so now the green wire is separated so the green wire this green wire is coming from the thermostat okay so this is telling the the unit to turn on or turn off so if i separate this green wire and the the thing still runs then most likely it is internally shorted so my first thought when a motor won't shut off could be the motor's internally shorted it could be the relay that tells the motor when to turn on or off is stuck in a closed position which is just keeping it on the whole time or it could be some other you know low voltage wiring but if i shut if i cut off power to the motor low voltage wise and that thing keeps still turning on then most likely that thing is internally shorted the motor is internally shorted which means when power is applied to the motor uh high voltage power which is 240 volts there's something inside of the motor you know a lot of these motors are now fancy they got modules inside of them computer boards and so when power is being applied to the motor itself 240 volts it's shorting over to the low voltage side and basically telling it to, to, to come out come on something like that so we have that separated now we're going to turn power back on and see what happens um i'm going to go ahead and put this in it can go one of two ways uh right you want to put it in the right way okay which would be this way so let me just put the camera down okay so i just plugged power in now let's see if I can hear the blower motor. Yep. So you can't hear it, but let's see if I can open this up. Ugh. So you can hear that thing moving. Okay. So that is a, actually, that is a very consistent problem with these particular package units. A package unit is where everything is all in one is the shorting of the motor and if you're an ac tech out there you know what i'm talking about that's the number one complaint i have with these units they're great units but the motor within a couple years sometimes will go out two three years and so you can either replace the module in the motor or just replace the motor itself um, in any case that's the issue they're gonna have to replace either the module for the motor or the motor itself um that's the garbage that they make today unfortunately they make crap today and that's in all of your appliances you know any appliances that you have you know refrigerators that used to last 30 years today after a few years you're having a problem ac's the same thing even cars you know cars that you used to be able to work on yourself everything is computerized boards and a little bit of moisture gets in that computerized board the whole thing shuts out so unfortunately that's the garbage that they make today 
um, and the customer ultimately is going to suffer. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video on mechanics for non-mechanics. God bless.